know what life behind bars is going to be like for you. It's, um, <laughs> it's one day at a time. <laughs> <laughs> this will make more sense when you see the when you see the trailer. One day at a time. Actually, like Oliver has his head down. He's trying to, you know, avoid conflict, and he's just pressing on. In an, in an odd way, do you kind of feel like after the way last season ended, that Oliver is kind of mentally in one of the best places he's been in, even though he's in prison? Mm, no, he's in a horrible place when we when we, when we start the year. I mean. You know, he made this deal. With, he made this deal with the with the FBI, and he gave himself up. And he's really got a question: like, was it all for nothing? Because Diaz is he's, he's alive, you know, um, and he's put himself in prison with a bunch of people that he sent to prison. <laughs> bad in there, for him. really, really bad. Can you, I know you can't tell us, of course, how long you're behind bars. I, I, Excuse me, is this guy bothering you? <laughs> <laughs> um, can you tell us how long the beer will stay? No. Nice try. How, how are you liking having I love it, man. Yeah. I love it. Just a little couple grays in here. <laughs> um, no, I like, you know what? Um, always very, very exciting to, like, if Oliver gets out of prison. Um, I'm excited to see how he'll interact back in Star City <clears throat> with people knowing his identity. Um, and, you know, but being in prison, like, that's a new thing for me to do. And, you know, we're 140 episodes in, so having something new to do is exciting. Yeah. Can we expect surprising alliances during this prison time? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's as full an answer. As you <laughs> no, you know, uh, you'll see in the, in the trailer today. Um, we 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 did get some people to come back to the show that we haven't seen in a while that are in prison with him, and that was that. That's pretty cool. It'll make his time easier. <laughs> <laughs> He put them in prison. <laughs> How are you feeling about um, this year's crossover from Batman? It's very exciting. Um, I think you're shit. <laughs> <laughs> I do know that when it got when it got pitched to me, when Greg pitched it to me, um, I was like, "Oh man, that's awesome!" Really, because we went so big with the crossover last year. You can't go bigger. You have to go more about like the characters and the story. Um, and um, yeah, no, I can't say that. <laughs> well, let's talk about this since it's already out. The Batwoman characters already we've already been told that she's going to be a part of the crossover. Yeah. What's it like having that character coming into this world and kind of finally acknowledging, okay, Gotham does exist in this universe, and, yeah, and that'll be a part of it. I mean, I, I think I think it's great. I, you know, like. The more, the more, the merrier. You know, I've, I've always, uh, I've taken, a, you know, I've, I've always taken a lot of pride in the fact that, you know, our show has helped, uh, certainly not been instrumental, but has helped and lent a hand to other shows. I hope that David Rappaport nails the Batwoman casting. I hope she's awesome. I hope that their show does ten years. Um, you know, we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Well, in, in typically, Batman is you know the, the human king in the DC world. You make me believe you could take it. Ooh. I mean that as a compliment. <laughs> that, that's pretty cool. Well, I mean, if I take him, I, I would just have Superman fly him out to space. <laughs> <laughs> I've never understood that. I've never, I've never, I've never yeah. understood why he doesn't just fucking fly him out to space. <laughs> I had an online poll with a hundred thousand votes. Yep. Literally, Batman won by four votes out of a hundred thousand. That's good, but Batman's that's Batman, man. That's bizarre. Batman's, you know, that's right. Batman's, uh, Batman's uh, royalty. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad that look, someone played Green Arrow before me. Someone's gonna play it after me. Uh, 
I'm very, very comfortable with his spot within the DC universe, and I just hope that as a caretaker for all of the Queen, that I've, that I've done it a little bit. I think you're doing it. Thank you. Thank you.